What's up, YouTube? Happy coming to you, Captain Awesome Fish Road. Jeff Crumbs Bro, I bringing you a video. Uh, pretty pumped up today, guys. Um, as y'all know, the new fish room is done and completed. However, um, there was a how should we say this? There was an error in the measurements I took for the square footage of this room and the square footage of that room, and I know what I did, is I measured this wall from where the uh, rack starts to the corner over there, uh, and forgot to measure that extra little bit right there, so I think, you know, I thought those two rooms were the same square footage. Uh, but they came out not to be, guys. Um, the other room was a little bit less square footage, and it would have resulted in me having to not be able to use this big black rack that you can see. Uh, so, the quote-unquote new fish room is scratched completely, and... You're probably saying, wow, we went through all that waiting and you're not even going to set up a new fish room. Well, yeah, you know, give or take, yes, but give or take, no, okay? I, I mean, we're going to be redoing the fish room. I mean, technically, the new fish room was going to be the same exact fish room. It was just going to have an air system in it, right? It was going to have an air system. We're going to have a few more tanks set up in it, but... What I, I mean, I already have it planned out, and we're going to go over inside this video, and I'm going to show y'all what I have done so far in here to get that air system running, okay? Um, the air system was completed over there, uh, which, you know, kind of was a nuisance. I had to spend a little bit extra money on PVC parts in order to make this one work. Um, so, you know, uh, it is what it is, you know? We make mistakes in this hobby, and that's what it's all about, you know? Next time... Whenever I measure the square footage of a room to make sure all my tanks will fit in it properly, uh, I'll be sure to go corner to corner instead of, you know, taking about two feet out of it. So I was pretty bummed about it. But anyways, um, as y'all can see here, uh, my loveless, lovely, lovely Magnus babies are doing exceptional. Uh, they're about to go on a 55, by the way. Um, you know, they're kind of being terrorizers to each other. Haven't lost any. Although, the other day, my CO2 system did dump, and I almost lost this whole little giddy-up right here. Uh, yeah, which would have sucked, uh, because I love, love, love the fry that I have in here. These fry are from Magnus and Harlot, okay? Beautiful umbies. Beautiful. Best umbies on YouTube. I mean, point blank simple. Best umbies on YouTube. All right. And then we go down here and we see this guy. Just a gorgeous jaguar cichlid, guys. I mean, look at this guy. Let me see if I can get him to turn here. Let me act like I'm going to give him some food. Here. Oh, whoa, don't jump, buddy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy's patterns, okay? I named him Grim. Okay, he just reminds me of that TV show Grim. Uh, just something about him. Uh, we need to turn this light off. Uh, the giant red tail Garami is doing great. Uh, there he is down at the bottom there. Uh, he's camera shy, but uh, he's also going to be going into the 40 breeder soon. A uh, whole different giddy up coming, guys. Um, building a 10 gallon uh, rack. It's going to hold four or five 10 gallons. Uh, that was the last thing I had to do for all my 10 gallons. I have my triple 50 stand built. Uh, it's just, you know, moving these tanks around. But anyways, um, y'all might have noticed, uh, besides my uh, intro, you might have noticed the new picture there, guys. Um, that picture is from Aquatic Support Systems. Yes, yes, yes. Aquatic Support Systems, guys. I promise you, you will not be disappointed if you go to Facebook and like that page, okay? Huge things coming. Huge, guys. Huge things coming with aquatic support systems. So make sure you go like that page. Okay? Huge, huge things coming. But uh, make sure you go and like that page, guys. I'm serious. I'll put a link inside the description. Uh, it's beneficial for you if you go like that page. I already like that page, okay? I already liked it. 
I'm already, I mean, I'm already in with Flint, if you know what I'm saying, okay? I already like the page. I'm already a part of it. It's going to be big, bold, and beautiful, okay? So make sure you go like that page, guys. Little spawning activity here with the Gorillas Blues. Um, <clears throat> anybody that's looking for a Gorillas Blue female, there she is, right there. If you're looking for one, there she is. That's all yours, right there. Hit me up via message or text or email, whatever you got. Hit me up like that if you want her. Okay, serious inquiries only, guys. I don't want to, you know, entertain a whole bunch of emails or text messages where you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay, if you want a Gorilla Blue female, hit me up and she will be yours, I promise. I also have two Gorilla Blacks, uh, one of which I'm pretty sure is a male. No doubt one right there, and then there's one over here. Okay. Got those two for sale, um, and let's see, I have a couple other umbies in there for sale, and that's pretty much it, but uh, on to bigger business, so what we're going to do here is, since we're setting up an air system, guys, uh, we're going to be cutting the sump filtration unit out completely, this whole thing right here is going to be moved over to that wall, okay, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, uh, this stand is completely gone, okay? Well, I might keep the stand in, I, I don't know, yet. But either way, this is going to be moved over to that wall. Uh, the 140 is either going to go right there with the 120 on top of that other stand that I showed y'all I built. Uh, and then, of course, this will still be right here. Or, if I uh, keep this stand, this is going to come over... The 115 is going to go against that wall with the 120, and the 140 is going to go here, and it's going to stick out just a little bit right there. Uh, this whole rack is staying here. However, this 10-gallon, uh, that 10-gallon, that 10-gallon, and that 10-gallon is going to be built on a rack right about Chia, and it's going to be tall, so that's going to go, and then I'm going to be putting a 55 there. At, well, hold on, hold on. Wait. Well, something like that. Anyways, uh, yeah, anyways, uh, something like that. And then uh, that whole top section there is going to be cleared off, and y'all see what I'm going to show y'all next. Uh, I've started bringing the air system over. Now, when I built the other one, I didn't really make any videos, guys, uh, because it's pretty cut and dry. I mean, if, if you've ever put PVC together before, uh, it's simple, okay? It, every union I use PVC primer and then PVC glue and then I stick it together hold it together for about 10 seconds so it doesn't pull okay now you see uh, I painted it black now what I do is I get all my connections together and sealed up and blah 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 uh, I paint it let it dry and then I connect them now before I connected this piece right here I wanted to show you how I do it okay now, you see I already have my connections all glued in and everything, and it's already painted, but what I do is, is I'll leave a section down at the bottom to where, uh, you know, it won't interfere with the primer or the glue, and, you know, whenever I go up to right there, this piece is going to go across this wall right here, okay, it's going to go all the way across there. Um, now, whenever I go up there into the, in, uh, ba 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 uh, whenever I go up there to join these two pieces together, um, there won't be any paint or anything interfering with that seal, uh, i.e. causing a leak or something like that. So that's going to go up there. Now that's how I do it. And then once we go over here, which is going to be the next section that's going to span all the way across this wall, again, uh, we're going to do uh, a 90 degree right here. And then I'm going to put all my connections together, which is going to have another one of... I'm trying to do it without Big Rig hitting me. Let me try to get this. Hold on. Here. Just in case he hits me, y'all can watch. Stop. Stop, fish. Got it. Okay. Now, what I'm doing here, you might have seen these uh, inside setups with sumps and stuff like that. Um, what we have here is a... Uh, uh, a union I guess uh, which you can unscrew and take apart now the reason I'm doing this inside my air system and this is the part where I said I don't know if it's gonna leak through there or not if it's watertight 
Uh, I'm pretty sure it'll be airtight. I'm not completely sure, but we're going to test it out just to make sure, guys. Uh, and if you have an experience from it, I don't know. You can let me know, but I'm still going to try it uh, because I want to see for myself. So the reason I'm doing that is if I have to take this whole thing down to repair one area or change one area, that's going to be a headache, okay? This whole room taking that whole big square down would be a headache. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm going to have four sections that I can take down and repair any which one area. So I'll unscrew this section and that section right there if I want to, if I want to repair this section here or that section and this section if I want to repair this section or this section. You get the point, okay? So that's what I'm doing with that and I painted it black so it looks a little more, uh, you know, fish roomy, right? So that's what that's what's going on with the air system. Um, I have a big package coming in tomorrow. We're going to be doing a video about that. Uh, it's the final pieces I was waiting for in order in order to test the system. Uh, so I'll be showing y'all how to drill, tap, and run a line from the PVC to a tank. Okay, and I'll also be showing y'all how to hook up your actual um, air pump to your PVC system in order for it to run good and uh, not leak or anything like that guys uh, so make sure you stay tuned for the video tomorrow it's gonna be really exciting uh, I'm gonna test it live on camera so you'll be able to see if I failed or not um, I hope I don't I hope these unions work uh, they have a rubber seal in there that actually prevents them from leaking with water so I'm pretty confident that it will not leak with air uh, so you know keep your fingers crossed with that um, I want to give a couple shout outs. Uh, guys, make sure you go and check out Conway's channel, okay? Uh, I'll have his channel name inside the description, but his name is Conway uh, Stevens. Really good friend of mine, a uh, really awesome cat. Um, you know, semi-new YouTube channel. Uh, he's uploaded videos before, but guys, let's get him up in subs. Uh, <laughs> this guy. Um, let's get them up there inside the stub subs and you know, let's let's just get them subbed out like we all are uh, And I want to give a shout out to mr. Man 316 uh, another brother from another mother uh, Huge shout out to those two. Uh, those two are the founders of aquatic support systems uh, I'm gonna mention them again guys go check them out on Facebook. I guarantee you will not be disappointed I promise you go check them out like the page and watch what happens okay big things coming with aquatic support systems all right um, another shout out to my man Forrest cichlid man 09 just hit a thousand subscribers that is awesome bro um, congratulations that's huge that's a that's one of the huge milestones inside the YouTube uh, arena uh, I just hit a thousand myself. Uh, so huge, huge shout out to Cichlid Man 09. Huge congratulations. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, so make sure you go check out all these guys' channels. Make sure you sub up to every one of them, guys. Uh, Conway, Mike, and Forrest. Make sure you uh, sub up to every one of them because every one of them drops some serious knowledge inside of the videos. Uh, Conway's last video just showed his sump system. It's amazing. So make sure you go watch that. And, you know, the other two, I'm sure if y'all are already subscribed to me, you're subscribed to them, so y'all know the kind of knowledge they drop, but make sure you go check out Conway's channel. Uh, the link will be in the description, guys. It's super easy. The link will be in the description for Aquatic Support Systems. Super easy. It'll take you to the page. All you have to do is hit that like button and become a member of the page, okay? Big things coming. Huge things coming inside the fish room. We're almost ready to go all air, so make sure you stay tuned. With that said... This is what I'm doing. This is what I've done. Be sure to rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you're thinking. And we'll see y'all next time. Adios, folks.